what would you have done in nil de- deals when you were in college? Oh like, yeah, what, what types oh, of what, uh, organizations? Would have been money. The, the been Club Trillion up? brand. Yeah, yeah and, Club uh, Trillion are like local businesses. Yeah, would you have been one of those guys who like does the fake? Oh, buy a Club Trillion to, for charity. Or would you have been like, no? I did, I did do that. I oh, did, I, whoops. All right. Um, that, yeah. Would you? So <laughs> I did do that. Would you, would you? Would you be making money off Club Trill? Uh, I was told we sold shirts my senior year, and the number I was told was that I I raised fifty five grand for uh, one of the local charities in Columbus. Wow! And the guy who which. It, I would have matched, by the way, if we'd yeah, known you yeah, by the, back then. I, 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 I would have. I would have doubled. How yep. many club chill shirts did everyone in this room buy? <laughs> it was for sick kids, too, by the way. No, yeah, no, man, I, all right, I, I would have doubled. I doubled again. I would have doubled. Yeah. So he would have quadrupled. Um, and the, the the guy who runs the charity still treats me like I'm a saint. And it's still like, you. It, if I called him right now, he would he would clear a schedule and make time to talk to me on the phone and like just, you know. He, he he thinks that I walk on water because he he'll he'll just pull me aside and be like you were 21 22 years old and you had the heart to help these sick kids <laughs> and I've tried to explain to him a million times like, <laughs> I couldn't keep the money like if I could keep the money we wouldn't know, would know, yeah. yeah, would know each other yeah we wouldn't know each other that's but, great uh, no I I yeah it's 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 great I, it was really frustrating for me because I lost my scholarship I was I was actually put on scholarship for two years not that I deserved it but they the uh, they had extra scholarships and I had um, my, my first years at Ohio State I was on scholarship and then I got my scholarship pulled because we had academic problems as a program because we had so many guys going to the NBA early and uh, so Coach Mata told me he was pulling my scholarship I had the best GPA on the team and we were punished for academic reasons. So I, oh. I didn't have a scholarship, but I also couldn't profit off Wait. my name. So I was like stuck in this weird no man's land of like yeah, you're the poster guess, child of why the NIL should work. Now, yeah. would did Thad Mata have a sense of humor where he like did one of those big viral videos of of, of the team pulling your scholarship? Because mm. that would be funny. <laughs> that actually would have like, been funny. Like, Mark, we got your parents <laughs> here, and your parents are just bawling. <laughs> yeah. They're crying. They're like, we don't know how we're going to afford they this. They have to That's sign a, a check idea. at the end of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would have been great. great. Yeah. So you got a scholarship initially to go there, like right out of high school. No, I, I, when, I, I, was, I, like, I went to be a manager, then – I quit that because I was lied to about what what being a manager was. Then why? What was being a manager? I was told I was like going to be a practice player, uh, um, nope. by by John Gross, who's the head coach at Akron now. He was he was an assistant. He used to good tourney yeah, run, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Illinois, Illinois. Yep. Um, he told me he's like if if you're a manager, you will be uh you, you'll be able to practice with the guys. He's like you don't have to come in every every day, but like when you're here, you know we'll we'll have you run scout team and. I was like, that sounds cool. Like, I, I, I don't have to be fully committed because I understand how much time commitment this is. So I was like, I'll, I'll be a normal student, but like three days a week, I'll come practice with Division One players who happen to be some of my friends. That's a great setup. I'll come do that. Um, and on day one, they had me wiping up Greg's sweat and and <laughs> filling up water bottles and filming practice. And I was I was so shitty about it that I quit. And then they asked me to come back because they didn't have enough guys to do five on five. Wow, and, um, that's how I got on the team, and then and then they didn't have they they weren't using all the scholarships. So you get like thirteen scholarships, and we only had like eleven guys on scholarships. So they just said, "Do you yeah. want one?" And I was like, "Yeah." So I went from <laughs> I went from normal student at Ohio State to five weeks later, I was on scholarship for what ended up being a Final Four <laughs> basketball. I team. love that. That's how you got your scholarship too. They were like that model was like looked under the couch. Yeah, he's like, like yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we, we got another one. one here. All right, you take. You have it. to wonder how many people have like quit their student manager job on the first day. Yeah, right. And tried then, to follow my... And tried to follow that. Or, like, the My other lady. way around, how many people just accepted the manager job on the first day, yeah. even though it wasn't what they wanted? And maybe that's the next Jordan, but yeah. they didn't have the balls like you to stand up and be like, no, mm. I'm better yeah. than this. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, <laughs> what, that's a great what if. Were you... Uh, what, what schools were you thinking about going to besides Ohio State? Were you like, do you ever think maybe I should have just gone, you know, Division three or smaller Division one and played? Um... Have no, I, I I thought about it after my sophomore year um, when because my freshman year I was fat on the team because uh, I didn't think I was going to play basketball so like I graduate high school all summer I do no working out of any kind <laughs> I'm just getting ready for college um, and then I get put on the team and and I was just trying to get back in shape we we won the Big Ten we were ranked number one for for a few weeks. Um, and I didn't play, and I, that that made sense to me. I was like, we we have the one of the best teams in the country. It kind of checks out that my fat ass wouldn't get in there. The next year, uh, we we didn't even make the tournament. We ended up winning the NIT, 
Um, and I didn't think I should be getting a ton of minutes, but I was like watching John Diebler shoot 29% from the three point line as a freshman. And I was like, I don't know, maybe throw me in there and see what I could do. And, yeah. and maybe I'll, I'll make one or two. And coach Mata after that season told me he's never going to play me because he actually recruited these other guys. And he like explained it to me. He's like, I put resources into getting these guys. He's like, you just showed up on my doorstep one day. Yeah. <laughs> so he said, I will never play you. Like he was, he was really nice about it. Weirdly. Right. But that's like, like him essentially admitting, like I just, don't want to admit that I was wrong. Yeah, right, basically. Right. right. Yeah. Right. So that's when I completely gave up and I decided uh, either I'm going to transfer to a tiny school and try to like, you know, average 20 a game at like a division three school or I'm just going to, cool. or I'm just going to like ride out these next two years and just have a sick time yeah. riding the bench and try to and, save some sick yeah. kids. Yeah. 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 Try to I, save some sick kids. Yeah. yeah. I think you made the right choice. 